Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 12 of Direwolf20's Ocean Block series, uh, where I'm going to be doing some more mystical agriculture today and trying to plan out how to get things going really fast. At least that's my hope. Um, now, it occurs to me blood magic is in the pack, and blood magic has some pretty nice ways to, to, to accelerate growth. So, that might be a thing we're going to get into sooner than later. Also, it's been what I feel like is a long time since we've played with Blood Magic, really. So, I would be totally down to get that going. Oh my goodness, it's getting dark out. Uh, better better take a nap. Better take a nap for sure, because nighttime bad. Well, not that bad. Um, so, the plan for today is I'd like to get diamond seeds going if possible. And that would be cool. Uh, I'm just curious to see how that's going to work out. I've spent... A lot of time you'll notice that I made an Inferium Watering Can. I didn't get the next tier because I didn't want to spend all the uh, the resources to get Prudentium tier stuff. But I got an Inferium Watering Can. I checked. You know what I did is I actually went to the GitHub of Mystical Agriculture. And I checked how the watering cans work. And uh, as far as I could understand from reading the code, it doesn't tick accelerate any faster for higher tier watering cans. So... I didn't. I decided not to get a higher tier watering can because all it does is increase the area. It doesn't look like, to me, unless I'm misreading it, it doesn't look like the Supremium makes crops grow faster than the Inferium. It's just a bigger area. So if you have more crops, then yes, it will be faster, but not faster for a small subset of crops. So not 100% worth doing, right? So I had a nice little 3x3 three three set of... Uh, Inferium soil here. I clearly kind of got that going. My plan is to uh, basically get a lot of diamonds with diamond seeds. And that's at the end of my plan. I have no more plans. I have no more plans. I want diamond seeds. That's it. So I need uh, prosperity seeds, right? So I need some prosperity shards. I've got a few of them. I got some seeds. I got one of them. We're gonna go do this. Bada bing, bada boom. He's gonna make me uh, the seeds that I need. And then we should be ready to go, right? And then we also remember need Supremium seeds. So by the way, um, if I were to ask you how long, three minutes and 45 seconds. Now you have to grow on Supremium farmland. So, or Insanium, which is insane, so we're not gonna get. But Supremium farmland minus a minute 30. So it's going to be like every two-ish minutes, we're going to have a 75% chance to get a diamond essence. And nine diamond essences to make a diamond. So that's going to be pretty slow. So I think my plan should be to plant it on that guy there, on top of the growth accelerators. It will be a lot faster, but less automated. Then I'm going to focus primarily on getting this going so that we can make... A better experience all around for that setup right and I think that would be cool I think we just need to you know get into some stuff these look like pretty cheap things to make these two the only thing that's expensive quote unquote with this is plastic so we'll have to get into the whole rubber production facility right so we need a latex processing unit um, and uh, let's see that makes tiny dry rubbers uh, what else do we need from uh, foregoing we're gonna need the the thing that makes the latex. That is made in a fluid extractor power optional. Good, because we're not quite there on power yet. <laughs> you know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, step one, diamond seeds. Cause that's what I've spent probably close to an hour sitting here holding right click and watering plants for. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna wanna get her going. Huzzah! Huzzah! Diamond seeds. Nice. And then we can use the one more Supremium Essence we have. By the way, it's about four stacks of Essence to make a Supremium Essence, if my math is correct on that. So, and by the way, with four going, what things do I have? I think we had mob-related stuff, but that's it. We had, we had a mob duplicator and crusher, but nothing else particularly cool. Though we do have some range add-ons, which is nice. We might want to get into that. We're probably going to need a dissolution chamber, by the way, which also is a pity machine frame, so that's cool. All right, good deal. So you guys can go away. 
Let's get another hoe. I feel like I'm making a lot of these, by the by. But it is what it is. And then Supremium Farmland. Sweet. And then I'm going to go put that where the growth accelerators are. So I'm going to harvest you. Now, annoyingly, you think I need... Let's see. It says I just need a shovel for this. Do you, do you think I need like a Silky Touchy kind of thing? Is there a Silk Touch add-on? Silky Cloth from Tinkers needs rose gold ingots, which I can make in induction smelters, but I, I could make it in alloy kiln. Do you think this guy applies silk touch? Is that what it does? Modifiers? Silky uses a modifier apply. Okay. I might need five silk cloths, but it's just string and rose gold. Um, which doesn't sound terrible. We would just either need to get an induction smelter, which needs eh, not a big deal, not a big deal, not a big deal. We could probably make Inbar happen, right? Might not be a terrible plan. We could get some blend from the crushers, right? Yeah. I could I could whip up a quick induction smelter so I could make rose gold, so I could silk touch this tertium. I just don't like the idea of wasting that. Right? That seems like it seems like a waste to waste that. I'm just saying. I don't want to waste it. Seems like a bad time. So let's do... Uh, have I done anything with nickel yet? I'm assuming not. I haven't. Is there? Are there nickel clusters? There are nickel chunks. I just haven't even paid any attention to them yet. Because uh, I haven't needed them yet. But there you go. Nickel chunks. Nickel chunks. Almost. Almost. So you guys do the nickel thing. I should get stairs at some point. Are you actually doing stuff? Oh yeah, you're still cooking up the iron that I made. Sweet. Alright, and then we've got the crushing factory ready to go with our nickel. Right? Uh, so let's get like six of you and twelve of you. And that should be cool. And a little tick accelerating is fine. You know, getting it up to 8x, it barely uses any time. 32x is when it starts to use a bit. 64x is when it uses a lot. So, like, my recommendation is avoid doing that if you can. Cool. Inbar blend. Nice. See, 16x didn't use much by way of timing. And it, and it definitely got me a lot of good stuff there. Right? So what we wanted then was the, uh, the, the, the thermal induction smelter. Sweet. Okay, so induction smelter needs... Actually, I might have one of those. Didn't I get something like that? I did. I did. That's cool. So you guys go away, and then induction smelter yourself into a blast furnace. And then I think I just need a tin gear. That's right. Cast iron ingot. Uh, what I want is to get 16 of you infused with coal. And then smelted. Right? Sweet. And then we just need sand. Which, you know, hilariously, I don't have a lot of, but we can get pretty easily. I do like I do like this this thing I came up with. I really do. Why are you pretending like there's dirt in you? There's not. But now look, we've got plenty of sand and induction smelter cool. Nice. Yeah, why'd you get locked? You shouldn't have been locked. I mean, you're not really locked. I think it, it might have just been like too fast. That I placed and, and, and did stuff. Okay, maybe I had extra dirt on me. That's probably what it was. I bet I had some dirt on me. 
Oh, look, you're just going there because that's where you fit. So rose gold was copper. What was it? Three copper for rose gold? So if I wanted silky cloth, it was in an induction smelter, three copper to one gold. And remember, I have a stupid amount of gold, so we ain't going to worry too much about that. And hopefully we have a healthy amount of string. Because it looks like I might need five of these. I can't quite tell, right? But those modifiers on something will give me silk touch. So... So... In a tinker's station, or a tinker's anvil for that matter, I might need the tinker's anvil. Do you think I need the tinker's anvil? I might. It says I can do it in a tinker station, though. Hmm. Hmm. So if I'm right, I make 16 grout into 16 seared bricks. Uh, let's get some copper and let's get some tin. Maybe 18 and 6. Would be cool. And then you guys do that. We'll see if this is enough. I'm not sure if it will be. I'm pretty sure I need three blocks worth. It might be enough. I didn't actually sit down and do the math, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be close. Super close, right? And then anvil. Sweet. Cool. And then I can get my Matic with these guys. And that'll get me Silk Touch. Awesome. And then if I want to get better stuff later, I can. So now I just want to see... Yay! It did work. Beautiful. So now we know that we can safely harvest the Supremium farmland if we decide that it's, you know, what needs to be done. So this guy will hopefully go grow pretty quickly. Look, he's already at 14%. So, yes, definitely running nicely. Uh, very pleased with that. Now let's get into foregoing, right? So that we can harvest this dude automatically. Because that's going to be the key, right? Being able to harvest this stuff properly and then replant it is going to be an important task for us. So, for foregoing, we're going to need the latex processing unit, which definitely needs some of you guys. Uh, did you make more of these? You did. Let me just put all this stuff away. Cool. Uh, and then you guys are going to go away for the time being as well. So let's get four fluid extractors, which needs uh, four of you. We're going to need... These are fluid extractors, yes. Pity machine frames. Are we low on redstone again? Redstone seeds should also be in my future. But I feel like adding dust to this processor. Because while we do have a bit of redstone going on, we could absolutely use more. What I'm going to do is clear out uh, some more lead. And some osmium. And some silver. And some tin. And some titanium. And some aluminum. And hopefully that frees up some space. And then I'm going to cook up more redstone. Uh, but let's start with you guys. You can go right in there. I'm going to leave the chunks down here for the time being, though. Because I don't like them being in my refined storage system. Because by the way I operate in this current brain mode is that I basically just pop down here. And uh, interact with stuff. So I don't want to forget that I've got like one or two little chunks of redstone sitting in there because that would just kind of be a huge waste. You know what I mean? Yeah.
So then you, you, and you would be cool to kind of get stuff going. And then uh, I'll put you guys in the to-do list there. And then you guys are ready to go for some redstone blocks. So I'm going to want three more of those so we can get the proper number of fluid extractors that we're going to want. Cool. Uh, we, we're going to need more of these, too. Which means more seared, which means more iron going into the coal infuser. Tick accelerating is very much saving me in this series so far. Because I haven't sped anything up yet. Uh, we're like working towards getting into the position to be able to do that kind of stuff, right? But yeah, you guys would be awesome if you could... Uh... You know what? I even want... I want you first. I want you to finish your enriched iron as quickly as possible. See, 32x was pushing it a little bit too far for my time in a bottle. It's all good, though. And I'm probably going to want at least one or two more of these, so I might as well prepare, right? Alright, so then uh, four fluid extractors and a latex processing unit is going to need a bucket of latex and another redstone block and a furnace. And that'll be cool. All right, one of you will be water. Let's put these guys, they don't need power, but also it wouldn't hurt to have power. What would be involved in getting some uh, ultimate, no, uh, universal is the word I'm looking for, energy cables. I feel like that is 100% cheaper than the power-based cables. Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do all things mechanism. Cool. Uh, so since we are low on steel, I'm gonna get another, I guess I'll get 32 steel, doesn't hurt. Uh, now that one has to run through the coal processing double, right? Oh wow, are we out of power somehow? We absolutely are. So you're going to generate way more power now in theory, I hope. Cool. So we'll get more steel, uh, and then I'm going to start making the uh, the cables from Mechanism, because I feel like they're cheaper to make and probably better uh, than Powers. Yeah, tick accelerating your power users when not ac tick accelerating your power producers is probably a bad idea. But yes, that is far fewer steps than power. Cool. Is shrink in this? Boo! Ooh, for the lack of shrink. Ah. I might just vein mine. Seems reasonable, right? There you go. Yeah, I'm breaking everything with a hammer. What of it? I should get the mechanism tool at some point, too. That would be nice. Um, I should also probably, like, expand out the platform a little bit more and, and, and live on, like, a proper... <laughs> proper-ish kind of base. But uh, we'll probably get there. So then you guys, the fluid extractors, refresh my memory. How do you... Want to make sure I'm not making any dark spots. Do you face me when you place? No, you face you face the opposite direction. Cool. All right, and then you just need uh, some wood, 
And let's refresh our memory on how fluid extractors extract fluid for latex. Four millibuckets, Akashia log. Two, 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 three, two, one. So uh, Acacia, Acacia, Acacia. How do I get Acacia saplings? I could do it with that, or I could just sluice dirt and I'll have a pretty good chance. So give me some dirt and hopefully, here, have some more, have some more, have some fun. I got to figure out Appetite and Cinnabar because boy, is that a big old mess. Do you not sluice dirt? Only in cloth mesh. Really? Really? Today I learned dirt can only be sluiced with cloth mesh. So I'm going to do that just to get it all cleared out of the backlog before I forget that the cloth mesh is there and then we just waste a bunch of time sipping the wrong thing. Better? Better. Now did I get acacia saplings? Acacia saplings? We got a lot of things, but we may not have gotten what we wanted to get, which is a big old bummer. Really? No acacia saplings? Not a one? Not a one. Not a one. Really? Though? Really? With all the junk we got? We got no? Okay. We got melon seeds, we got bamboo and sugar cane. I mean, we got some good stuff, don't get me wrong. Just a little bit bummed because I I swore it said, oh, it's iron mesh. Oh, it's iron mesh. My bad, there is actually a difference. They're just very similar looking. Beetroot, cornflower, orchid, cotton. That's cool. All right, we must have gotten some acacia. We did. All right, I figured there was no chance that we wouldn't. Because like I said, it was like a 20 something percent chance. So it was supposed to be really, really likely. All right, that looks good. Okay, and then come on, grow, grow for me. Let's go. Am I missing something about acacias and, and the environment they like to grow in? Why you know grow? There you go. Good, we're getting lots more saplings, which is good to see. Yay, our first diamond seed. Good enough for me. I should get wireless uh, refined storage up and running sooner than later, shouldn't I? It would be very handy. It'll probably be something I look at soon. But there's all my acacia logs. Now you guys, without power, will go noticeably slower. Right, but we can run, we can get power going into you, I'm sure. Good. I like it. So now I'm going to make a pipe. Basic mechanical pipe. I assume you've got more steelish stuff for me coming up. Looking good. That'll do. 
Alright, so basic mechanical pipes. Get me a few of them. And a tank. Basic fluid tank. Sounds good. Uh, and you know what I wouldn't mind from mechanism? Is the configurator. If I could get some of this, which I'm pretty sure is iron again in this guy. So the configurator would be cool. Then what I could set up is you. And now I've got my configurator ready to go. Do you actually need power? Like what does the configurator need power for? That I never fully understood. Like what's the purpose of this thing needing power? Because he works just fine without power. I'm just saying. Now you've got two buckets of fluid in you, which is awesome. Which means I can snag one. And then we're also going to need a new bucket, by the way. Because I just used one. Oh yeah, and I meant to put my diamond mesh back, and I didn't yet. So that's funny. Dire, please. Don't forget that important step. And now we can get our latex processing unit. Sweet. Cool. Now I might want another bit of these while I'm here. And I might want another bit of these while I'm here. Perfect. I'm going to put the steel away. Put some of the other junk away. Uh, because I have a silk touch pick now, I'm getting grass. Uh, that sounds good. You can also go away. So what if we just put universal cable there now are you gonna be super cool how's that look and then you can go right into there not bad And then we just need a little bit of water, and we should be good to go. I really need to make this, you know, more than just a little island that I live on. But it's dire. <laughs> you guys, you guys know what you're in for when you come onto this into this series. You know what's going to happen. Uh, cool. So we definitely need to get water automated up here, but there's your fluid extractors and latex processing units. Induction smelters also done. Uh, and that'll get me my first little bits of tiny dry rubber, which I can then smelt into plastic, uh, which is cool, right? So good deal right there. Uh, quest completions for industrial foregoing. I get some random rewards, which is a windmill and a building wand, which are both cool things. And I'm probably going to need to properly sit down i didn't mean to put those away and and uh and logic up like here's all the cool stuff we're gonna do but energy cables can go away the windmill and that thing i don't need at the moment uh any other quests that i completed thermal okay mystical agriculture i did something diamond seeds that's right greater band of mana that sounds cool mineral saplings another obsidian boat uh i'm gonna equip you sure why not because i have the band of aura and I've got, doesn't the Band of Aura, like, magically give me mana for free-ish? Yeah, look, I've got, a, I've got a little smidge of mana. Is that working? Look, there's a little tiny smidge of mana sitting there. Does that mean Step Assist is going to work now? It does. Look, look. Without doing any Vitania at all, I've got my favorite item from Vitania, the Sojourner Sash, working now. Ha ha. How cool. How cool is that? All right, I like, I like a lot. Ooh, fluid transporter, what are you? Industrial foregoing transport and storage? I'm not familiar with that. I don't have any ender pearls, so that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a thing that I'm gonna have to say no to for now, but we'll get there. Um, yes, yes, very yes. Okay, cool. Now, what do we have by way of free and infinite water sources? Like, do we have a sink? 
I can't imagine we do. We have the Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod Sink, but I don't think that produces water. Right? I don't think that produces water. Um, water source blocks. We have the pump, obviously, from Mechanism, so if we wanted to do that, we could. Water condensator, power optional. That might do what I want it. I mean, it sounds like it would do what I want it to do. Let's get a bucket of water and see what it does. Because having water up here is, you know, going to be nice. Who needs stairs now, Direwolf says. So water condensator just needs uh, another one of you. Now, of course, I'm going to wind up using some plastic here in a minute, which is a bummer. Yeah, we might need to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a basic tank. Yeah, why not? A medium tank. Can I use you to pick water up directly from water? I guess not. I thought there was a way. I thought I could use you as a tank. Bucket mode on. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. And then you're going to go here with you underneath. Hey. Bucket mode off. <laughs> cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then hopefully that'll work pretty well. And then you're going to eventually get destroyed, Mr. Stripped Acacia Log. Acacia. Words. And then we'll we'll deal with the water production thing problem in a minute. But that gets me... Yeah, we're probably out of power. It's nighttime. And we're 100% solar-based. And we're starting to get, like, a little ridiculous with the amount of machines we have. Right? Like, our, our machines... Like, we have a lot of machines running off a very small solar panel. <laughs> right? Let's be honest about that. Uh, yeah. Yep, no more problems, I hope. We'll see. Yeah, a little bit of RF. It's it's recharging now. It's recharging now. Sweet. Yeah, at some point this log will be destroyed by these things, and I'll have to place a new one. But you'll notice I left an empty space in the middle here. That's going to be for my placer. Right? So there's a fluid placer. There's also a block placer. That needs a lot of plastic, so I'm going to hold off. But it'll be a thing. Or we could use the placer from mini utilities. But that's way more expensive, right? All right. So two dry rubber. Smelt it up. Looking good. You do that thing for me. Sweet. Okay. So now we should be able to get a plant gatherer, right? So I'm going to get two of these. Plant gatherer will be my first step because I want this to automatically gather the stuff, right? Now you should be ready with another pity machine. Tis a pity. Now we're going to want you, which is going to need two more uh, stuff, right? Uh, now, what kind of range can we put on this guy? I want to see what my range upgrades currently have before I decide if I need more. So I have a plus six, which is pretty nice. I want to see what the range looks like. Uh, they look away from you when you place industrial four-way machines, right? So show working area is small. But then I do this, and is it going to be the entire... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That's not bad. My goodness. Somebody is not... Is not... Is not... Doing the thing. Uh, that could probably be smaller. That could probably be smaller by... At least one. 
Not that it'll hurt to have that range. Not that it'll hurt to have that range. Right? Um, see, that time it's not doing it, which is funny, actually, that it's not. It wouldn't hurt to have that range, but it could probably be one or two smaller. Now, why do you feel like you shouldn't be, I guess, one smaller? Would be fine. Eh, it doesn't honestly matter, to be fair. It really, really super extra triple doesn't. But I think, I think a 5 range is where I'd want to be, unless that's prohibitively expensive. Because the range upgrades in this mod can sometimes be funny. But it's Blaze Powder. See? Range 5 is Blaze Powder. Range 6 is Gold Nuggets. See what I mean by it's a little funny? Gold Nuggets, in my opinion, are way cheaper than Blaze Powder. Do we have Blaze Powder? I don't actually know. We have a little bit, but not, not to the point where I'd be comfortable wasting what we've got. So why don't we just... Do a range six and just make it match-ish. Um, you know what? Range four might be sufficient. Let's do range four for the planter. Because I feel like it doesn't need to plant where the fences are. So if we do range four, we should be fine. I think. Uh, but we're going to want that disillusion chamber uh, as well here. So let's get ready to make that before we get ready to do... Because we need the... Yeah, I know diamonds, but it is what it is, right? Uh, so more plastic. I need to wait a little bit. But only a little bit in order for this plastic to come in. Let's do the uh, tick accelerating and we'll be right back. All right, the two plastics for the dissolution chamber are ready to go. Sweet. Uh, and let's see, generally speaking, the dissolution chamber needs raw plastic in it, right? For the range upgrades and whatnot we're making, but it needs, oh, that's only a bucket. Okay, that's not bad. I might, then, well, we'll see. Did you finish your log? You did. Excellent. So get back to work with a new one. And we'll get a placer going there pretty, you know, as fast as possible. What I'm going to do is hold off on you. Let's have you disconnect here. We'll just do that so that you can build up a bucket's worth. And we can help it along again. Okay, so once we have a bucket's worth of that, we should be good. And then we can pop you there. You'll get power. You'll get a bucket's worth of latex. Didn't I have a bucket? I might have a bucket. If not, we'll just get a bucket. Bucket. Beautiful. Uh, and then if we wanted the plus four, it's going to be iron nuggets, two redstone, two glass panes. Boom. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to look at power generation at some point soon. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about it. Do you lose your progress if you run out of power? Because that's a thing that's happening right now, isn't it? Thing I don't like, actually. There you go. Sweet. All right, now you make me a bunch of latex, please. We are pretty much... Wow, look how fast we filled this up, though, with our tick accelerating. Uh, all right, so tick accelerating that, that solar panel was a pretty good move. I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty good right there. Nice. All right, so you're gonna get a healthy amount of latex from me. You might need some more of this. We are very much at the wrapping up point, but I would like to... I would like to at least get this in place before we wrap up. So this will be just a little bit of a longer episode. Sorry, I know you guys hate when that happens. So 18 of these and I can get my planter.
right? Huzzah! All right, so plant sower. It's gonna need another one of these because of course it does. Always need the pity machines. Such a pity. Now, if I'm right, and I think I am, uh, I want to go underneath this guy. Because we want the plant sower to go there. Can I fill his buffer up? I would like to do that real quick. Right up in here. Will you let me do this? Nope. You will not. Okay. So that's a bit of a bummer. But let's... Let's at least get it placed. What I'll probably do is run power cables between episodes. But if we show working area on this guy. And we give him the plus four upgrade that we made. This should show me... Yes. See how it is completely encompassing just the farmable terrain how cool is that awesome awesome um i'm gonna break this for a minute right but notice how the purple is this so this purple spot corresponds to this corner so basically if i put diamond seeds so the problem is gonna be the problem is it's gonna be is it's gonna be doing the thing so what I might do for the temporary solution, because my goal currently is I want to get a lot of diamonds. So what I'm going to do... Is this. You ready? I'm going to put you here. Show working area. And just process that guy. Okay. So your only job will be to process him. And then you're supposed to plant diamond seeds in another place. I would love to have like a power. What would be, how hard would it be to get into flux? Because we have some flux points that I got from a reward somewhere. All I need is a single plug and I'd be happy. We have some flux blocks. We need an uh, eye of ender. Is there any like sneaky, tricky, cool way to get ender pearls that we can figure out? Ender lily seeds. Not terrible to make, to be honest. Ender lily seeds are not hard to get. We just need a lot of ender pearls to start. Eh, we'll figure it out. Um, and I'm not really ready to do the ender power based transfer thing. That's a bummer. We're literally one ender pearl away from being able to, to wirelessly power that. And I, I hate running power cables all the way down there, but it might be what I have to do. Anyway, let's wrap up the episode here. I'm going to play with this between episodes. Basically, I'm just going to run power down there. And my goal is to say diamond seeds go into here, but like keep the other seeds planted so that he doesn't put the diamond seeds anywhere but here. And then this guy will only harvest this area. And that'll be cool as a start. And then we'll go from there. So that sounds like a bit of a plan. But for now, wrapping up point. So Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, clearly a lot of stuff and things today. But I think, I think it's going to be pretty cool once we get this all working properly. It's more just like let's get the basics up and running for now uh, before we go too hog wild. Right? And I think that's that's pretty much like let's get let's get the basic mechanics going. And that'll be good. All right. Dell 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.